Hello everyone, welcome to another video for Philips Tecon DDSCAD. Thank you very much for your comments. I will answer all of them and if I don't make a video from uh, your request, I will ask someone from DDS or your local support to get in contact with you, okay? So keep sending requests and comments in the channel. Well, the video today comes from a request from Andrea Schaffner. He wants to know how to set different floor heights in the same level. Here's the video. Enjoy. In order to demonstrate how to set different floor heights in the same level, I'll make use of the working mode building model. We can access the building model working mode in any specific MEP discipline in DDS CAD. So first, I will define a new room, a, a, a new area, okay? Doesn't matter the size, I will just define here a floor type, a ceiling type, and then we access here the room dialog. First thing I will do is just change the description to basement, and I will click OK. So now I will define another area here in the right side. Of course, doesn't matter the, the size again, and I will call it car park okay um, I will just insert a room inside each area like this auto generate last room all right from now I just want to show you what we have defined it in a, in a section or in a front view I will make use of this front view function so we can see these two different areas in the same height and with the same height okay so what I will do, since I want the car park to be um, 1.5 meters lower, I will access the story function, where we can also see the basement and also the car park. So I'll double click the car park and I will access the component floor. Now we have some parameters here for the floor, the slab thickness and the finished floor thickness. By default, this comes with 0.13 and 0.12 meters. The MNT dot height stands for mountain height. This by default is the opposite value of the finished floor thickness. Since I want to decrease this value 1.5 meters, I will sum the minus 0.12 with minus, uh, minus 1.5. So it will be minus 1.62. Now I'll click OK. I will accept these update rooms. And I'll click OK again. Click OK to close the story dialog. Now we see that the, the car park area was uh, is now lower. Yeah. So I will use the function measure between two points just to check if the height from the finished floor here in um, comparing to to the basement is with the correct value now we see this difference of 1.5 meters okay just something nice to show if we come back to 2d and of course you probably would insert some electro components or any other components for any other discipline but just an example if I insert a lamp here a light feature here and also insert some switches and we go back to front view we see they follow the heights of the the, the area they belong so it's not a big deal, okay? Would you like to see more videos like this? So subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified of the new videos. And what would you like to know about the DS Cat? Put it on your comment below and I can make a video for you. Cheers!